was showering. JK, he caught me on another van tour. We figured we'd start with the boring parts this time. So we're starting in the back end with probably one of the largest garages you'll see. But just wait until you see the rest of this van. It is a carpenter's dream. Okay, are you guys ready? Come on. Okay guys, Charlie is a 2005 2500 Dodge Sprinter. Are you ready to go see this build? Okay, so she built this in five weeks by herself for $20,000, including the price of the van. It's absolutely incredible. Come on. so many cool features in this van and one design that I've never seen anywhere else. You guys are going to be stoked. Hey there. How you doing? You want to check out Charlie? Let's go for it. Okay. So we said this was the carpenter's dream van. That's because the woman who built it, literally a carpenter. So I think one of the coolest features of this whole thing is this beautiful mural that she did. So it's a combination wood and slate, and I think this is quartz. Just all the textures are so cool. And you know, all the details everywhere. She did live wood edge finishes on the counters, the details of the wooden bowl. And I think what's super cool too is this matches up here. She made um, like storage out of wooden bowls as well. Just like super cool little details. So up top, we've got lots of kitchen storage, which is great, kind of everything you need. And I really like the fact that, unlike a lot of other vans that I've seen, these ones slide, so you don't actually have to worry about anything like flying out at you when you're driving, which is great. Um, and then also they've got, on the rest of their doors and cabinets, they've got these really, really strong magnets. So you really have to give it a solid pull to get it open. So you don't have to worry about any of these flying open either. Um, and that actually brings me to what I think is one of the coolest features about this fridge is it's got a lock and key on the bottom as well. So you actually have to unlock it in order to open it. And then that way when you're on the road, you just lock it back up and then you don't have to worry about, you know, anything flying open. Um, and as far as the fridge is concerned, so this is, um, running on 12 volt and they said it's really efficient. They're really happy with it. Um, I think it's actually pretty big uh, and she said like all these shelves inside can move around just kind of depending on what you've got in it um, it doesn't have a freezer but i know some people you know some people really want that some people don't so it's just kind of personal preference um, for the rest of the kitchen so they've got plenty of water storage so these are six gallons a piece so they've got 12 gallons of fresh water and then six gallons of gray um, and these are also really, they're just really cool storage containers. They're much more efficient than a lot of the other containers we've seen. So we'll see if we can link these also for those of you that want, um, want to get this style. And there's a water pump that leads to the sink up here. Again, this super cool wood bowl. Um, and there's an actual electric pump. Yeah, a little loud, but plenty of water. So moving right on. I think this box is actually super cool, this old crate. There's lots of little details like that all over this van, like little things that give it character. Um, and we'll kind of point those out along the way. I really like this. Um, but this is where they store the stove. So you can pull this out. They've got everything you need to cook in here. And then actually just cook like right on top, um, which is great. And then you've got, you know, you can open your door and have uh, air moving, which is important, you know, when you're cooking with propane. They also have an extraction fan. Um, which is great so if you had to put you know if you had to cook with the doors off you could just crack a window or something like that so one of the other realities of van life and living in very tiny spaces the next thing i'm going to show you is the toilet right over here so they've got a Dometic cassette toilet, which actually she said is super easy to use. The bottom half of it comes off and then um, you can basically dump it anywhere that it's safe to dump black water. And they said that really works pretty well in a pinch. Wait, let me try to blink again. Can I get it? Okay. Uh, this is also the workspace, which is great. I really like that this is such a big table. I am not a particularly good space sharer when it comes to laptops and things. So having such a big space actually feels like much more workable than I've seen some of the vans that have these little tiny like, like TV tray things. I don't really get that, but I think this is really great. 
Uh, lots of storage around here. <laughs> Again, magnets. <laughs> okay, so lots of storage under here, which goes in, you know, to the garage that we looked at earlier. Uh, they also have kind of a like linen closet kind of style thing here. Same thing over here. So lots of little nooks and crannies, places to tuck things. Um, and then they actually have their power over here. So the goal zero power system. So this is like your inverter. Um, it's kind of like a one and done, like plug and play kind of system. Uh, and this is connected to 400 watts of solar on the roof and you can plug uh, directly into it. It runs 110, it runs 12, it does a, a few different kinds of things. So it's a really easy system to put in um, and it kind of manages uh, manages everything for people who maybe don't want to go too deep into the electrical. Moving into the bedroom. This is such a fun feature. So she built these beautiful arches, which I think just is really gorgeous to look at. It's, it's a really beautiful kind of architectural feature that you don't really get to see in a lot of vans. And all of these are shelves for storage. So it's great, they're flat. You can put like a drink in it when you're sitting on the bed, that kind of thing, or you can put all your clothes in it. Um, these are like elastic um, and you can easily kind of shove whatever you want to in there and then they hold it in place when you're on the road, which is great. And I just really like, I like the look of the arch. I think it makes everything look just really, really unique. And she's got lighting built in up here. So they said this looks really, really great. At night, you get the light casting across the ceiling. Lots of little things like that are on the van. And like I said, lots of character, like the little bookshelves with all these little touches of things that really give Charlie character. There's little features around this whole place that really give Charlie a lot of character, which I just love. And speaking of features, okay, this is the coolest thing I've seen. I've never seen another bed built like this, and I think it's one of probably the most ingenious things I've seen. So let me show you how this works. This is Charlie's day bed. So, you know, if you want to take a nap, you want to lounge a little bit, you still have a place to do that. And this, is Charlie's nighttime mode. So remember that thing we saw in the garage earlier? That's the rest of your bed. You just fit this piece in there, pull your covers down, and then you're ready for bed. And this is a full queen size when it's all made out like this. So I think that's a really cool option and something we haven't seen before. So guys, I think that's it. Uh, you have now met Charlie. And um, I think one of the coolest things about uh, talking to the owner, Rachel, was really talking about her whole journey. So she actually named Charlie, Charlie, because of this book. So it's called Travels with Charlie in Search of America. And she said she read it and was just really inspired to hit the road and adventure, especially through um, COVID. And, you know, this was really a, a wonderful way to see the country and get connected to community. And um, it was a really cool story. So check out the book if you want. Um, and one of the cool things, too, was she said as she was actually living in this van, there was a few things that they learned on the road, right? Things that didn't really work as well as they wanted. The first was they had, they, she said they had kind of a crappy, like, hand pump sink, and that didn't work. So that was something they upgraded pretty quickly to uh, the electric pump that you saw. Um, the other thing she said she would do differently if she was to build out another van was this is an 18 foot van so it's not the extended cab and she said realistically if she was to do it again she would get that extended cab because that extra three feet of living space you know doesn't seem like a lot but when you're actually living in something like this it makes a really big difference so she'd probably get that. Um, and then the last thing is the power system. So if she was to, you know, redo or do, do a more extensive build, she said the, um, the zero power system works really well as like a plug and play kind of thing. If you don't want to put a lot of time and effort into the electrical, it's, it's really good kind of all in one, easy to set up thing. But if you're doing a more extensive build and you want more power or you want to do more things with your power, you might be better off kind of building your own system. So kind of things to consider during your, your build. Um, and you can find Charlie on social media. We'll link that below. 
and if you have a little bit of a crush on Charlie like I do, take him out for a weekend. Take, go on a date. If you happen to be in the Los Angeles area, uh, Charlie's listed on Outdoorsy, so we will link down below as well so you can check out Charlie, make friends with Rachel. Um, and if you have uh, any interest in using Rachel to help you on your build, we'll also add some ways to get in contact with her, you know, via Instagram or Outdoorsy down below. In the event that you want some gorgeous mural in your van or, uh, you know, any incredible arch woodwork. So thanks for your time, guys. It was a pleasure being with you. I think I'm going to catch up on my reading. Thank you.